Hi there, my name is James. If you got the time, I got the games. We're going to do the second half of the Keith David side quest. This one will give us extra time for hacking. Which, if you're not real familiar with the hacks in this game, you're going to want extra time. Vignette's only as good as his soldiers. Take out this patrol. Okay, so it's another flashpoint, really, and I thought about this ahead of time, and there's several flashpoints on the way there. We, I'm just going to hit them all on the way there I with this awesome. thing. I did quite a few of these in the walkthrough of Saints Row III with the VTOL, and it's pretty much that easy. The cool thing, though, is that a lot of the flashpoints in this game are in the exact same location as some of the gang operations in the third one. Like, this one right here is in the middle of a bunch of trees. And if I remember right, when I did the Saints Row the Third walkthrough, I did this one with the VTOL, too. And that didn't get both of them. Okay. But the one that Keith David actually wants us to go to is right over here. And this was one of our cribs in the last game. Yeah, they're kind of almost nothing <laughs> with a UFO. Wait, one more around the corner. Shouldn't have fucked with the president! Oh shit, this one comes with a warden. Yeah, we gotta get out of this UFO. The UFOs will not help you against a warden. More of a detriment. Where is he? Oh, hello! <laughs> there he is! What's up, man? Whoa! Oh, and with the telekinesis. Yeah. I don't think the Wardens are too hard to fight if you can catch them. Okay, button mash, button mash, come on. Yeah, cool. Alright. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. So he threw our chrome, or our void, over here. And we'll move on. Oh, wait. What, we're stuck? Are you kidding me? Really? <laughs> well, okay. Well, I guess we're not using that one. <laughs> okay, tell you what. While we were just using our Saints Purple Void right there, we'll go ahead and grab the Chrome one. And keep moving on. <laughs> And I don't want to get all the flashpoints that way. There's one over on the right. Well, you know what? You know what? Yeah, we do need money. That was the whole reason why I was doing this in the first place. Half of the fun of doing these flashpoints anyway is using your powers and just the variety of crazy weapons that they give you. So I'll just do a few in this. And just like the last game, if you're in the VTOL, you have to get low enough so they spot you before this even works. Very cool. And yeah, that's a good ways away, but we got another one right in front of us. Might as well hit it. No, oh, right on top of the technically legal strip tub, too. We're going to be back here later in the game. There is a side quest. Or is it a loyalty mission? It's the one for Benjamin King, where you have to fight Tanya. I don't remember if that's a side quest or if it's the loyalty mission. Yeah. Okay, one more. This will be the last one I do with these, because I actually want to do them all on foot and use all the weapons and powers. Because we have to beat challenges. Everything that you unlock, every weapon and every power you get, you have to do a certain number of times to complete a challenge in order to get 100%, and that's what we're going for. But, right over here, this virus injection, this one is crazy. 
Every game, and the developers knew this, and I'm positive that this was intentional, every game that you ever play is going to come with its own set of glitches. And the Saints Row franchise is no exception to the rule. So they took that and just kind of made it part of the game. Because you're in a simulation, and of course the simulation is going to glitch too. And that's fantastic! Yeah, look at this. Whereas most people will be complaining or laughing that the game is glitching all over the place, they just took it and made it part of the game. Oh, sorry. Yep, back off. Matter of fact, when we get the third element for the mind control power, when you hit people with mind control, it makes them glitch out just like this. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Matter of fact, it's intentionally glitching so bad that it's hard to even tell what's happening half the time. There's like fire and explosions going off everywhere. Whoa. And obviously, like any of the virus injections, you're being shot at from every direction. This is cool. Oh wait, this car, this car, I want this car. This is the bootlegger. Yeah, I just wanted to save that. Okay, back into it. Okay, what do we need, four more people? Get this big headed, whoa, hello. Just blowing up left and right. There was a cop behind us. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> All right, lose the hot dog. One more. Ah, okay. <laughs> Completely insane. Ah, so we'll keep moving on. The uh, <laughs> the next thing to do is yeah, a good distance away. We found some code in this car. Jack, remove the code from the simulation. Go to the location. This is another chop shop mission. Another vehicle theft. Which there was a lot of those in the third game there. Not so many in this game, but I like the fact that you can take UFOs and shit like that because this vehicle, even though it's big and powerful, you're probably never going to use this other than this one quest. I am awesome! And it doesn't go very fast, but there's few vehicles in this game that will stop you in this thing if you're going full speed, like a like a garbage truck or a cement mixer. There's very few things that will stop you. It's like what's that character from the Marvel Universe? Juggernaut. Once he's got a full head of steam, nothing can stop him. Kind of like that. So even though we'll technically have unlocked this, I'm probably never going to use it. And right around the corner, right? Okay, wait, watch out, there's a railing. That railing will stop this thing. Okay, very cool. And I think we've only got one more thing to do, and it's a good distance away for the third side quest. We'll go ahead and use the bootlegger. Wait, which direction did it start us out facing? Yeah, of course it put us the wrong way. Kinsey says racing causes the simulation to freak out. I like the sound of that. Yeah, and I love the blazing races, so that's what's coming. I said earlier in the walkthrough, I think I said there were seven of these. I was wrong, there's nine. So I don't know where I came up with seven from. And wait, 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 yeah, that's a really sharp turn. Really small space to get into. At this bootlegger, when I did the last walkthrough of the third game, there was a an assassination where you had to go to this guy's gas station, and he was impressed by muscle cars. So you had to get a muscle car, pull into his gas station, he would come out to admire the car, and then you'd kill him. 
And when I did that in the walkthrough, I used the bootlegger. Because this is a badass muscle car. And one thing I kind of regret from doing the last game, I never did finish the assassinations. I'd kind of like to do one video and just finish them all. Alright, yeah, enough screwing around. Because I really like those. I'd kind of like to do one video and just finish those off. But, next blazing race. This one's a little tricky. This one can throw ya. Like I've said before, some of these aren't too bad. This one, again, it's not difficult to get the gold in if you do it a couple times, but there's a that lot of... There's some weird jumps in it, like right here, like immediately. You gotta want to land that just right. And again, a couple places that are deceiving looking and you'll turn the wrong direction. Hold on, another weird jump here. Yeah. Another really sharp left, but our boost is still at 100. Good. Oh, if Angel could see me now. Yeah, and this is cool. I like this turn here. This will throw you the first time you play the game, but it's not really that hard to do. Yep, unless you get stuck on a wall. Make it. Nothing to this. Damn, I'm good. Yeah, that's a weird jump. I didn't even hit the jump button. This turn, they want you to like, yeah, they want you to run around that fire and do a, in a circle and run up that ramp. And I've never done that, not one time. You can see we still got you know pretty good time there, but I've never been able to do that. I think the way that the game intends you to. And if you can, you know, God bless you, but I've never done it once. Still a pretty good score, though. And we're up to 16. Pretty high XP, considering we've actually done very little to the story so far. And now, all that's left is to go back and talk to Keith David to start his fourth side quest. Which, there's an activity coming up there that I really like, and I'll talk about it when we get there. Not a bad fuck you to the asshole in charge. See me when you want to finish this. Yeah, it's one of the speed rifts, and look how far away we are again. Until we open these gateways, we're just going to be flying around all over the place, and I think, like, three or four videos from now that'll happen. Check this out right here. There's one thing that happens in, in the games that's not available in this game. No barnstorming. There's no barnstorming whatsoever. And there was a lot of those in the third game. And they brought it back for the Gat Out of Hell DLC. I think it was because they couldn't, they hadn't perfected the flying mechanic. Which they did for the expansion. But I guarantee you, if they'd have gotten the flying mechanic down, there would be barnstorming in this. And it would be all over the place. Well, right here, right behind our cathedral. And yeah. Oh, okay, that's three down. Let's see where Keith is this time. And yep, same place, in the cockpit. Found some more ways to show Zinyak who's really in charge here. I'll walk you through them. Sounds good to me. Yeah, very cool. And we unlocked hacking. Extra time for the hacking. For this walkthrough, that shouldn't be a big deal, but if you don't know the hacks, it will take you a while. And you'll want the extra time, that's for sure. Especially if you have any kind of notoriety and the aliens are shooting at you. You'll definitely want that. Yeah, I didn't activate the next mission. So we'll let Keith David do his his little speech and then yeah, this next activity is awesome. Campaigning is a mix of towing the line and shaking up the establishment. Like those rifts around town, you know? Yep, said it before, a lot of rifts in this game. This one is our first speed rift. 
And these are actually one of my favorite activities in the game, I, but I think they're very hard. Run along the path, collecting bits of virus along the data stream. Purple data is larger and therefore worth more to you. The more you collect, the stronger the rift will be. Watch out for the Zin's antivirus programs as they will be laying obstacles in your way, which will break the flow of your combined virus. Catching up to the Zin will destroy them and aid your virus, however. Good luck. Yeah, these are really challenging. There's these orbs that you gotta pick up there. It's almost just like the blazing. Almost exactly like it there. You have to pick up these orbs along the way and they build up your burst charge. And there's a Zen flying ahead of you that drops barricades in your way. And you use the burst to bust through the barricades to pick up the data. But yeah, they always come back, see? Is the thing, and when you trip over them, they slow you down a lot. You can see you don't have to wait till the burst hits 100. Whenever it says burst ready and you see barricades in front of you, hit it immediately. Now when I first started playing this game, this was one of the activities that I just... Another one that I just couldn't figure out. I was trying to let my burst get to 100 before I hit it, and I was trying to avoid all of the barricades and not hit any of them. And there was one time that I did it, I didn't hit a single barricade, I got to the end and... Still didn't get the gold, and I'm going, what am I doing wrong here? Well, I didn't understand what it was you were supposed to do. I admire your determination. Okay, burst in ready right now. Yeah, there we go. And hold on, hold on. Nice. This is actually the second time I'm having to put up this video because the first time I didn't turn the music off for this part. It just sounded like music that was made for the game, but uh, apparently not. It was copyrighted, so I have to do this over again without the music. Okay, wait, wait. Ah. Another thing is you don't have to use the left bumper in order to sprint. That's another thing that I was doing. The game does all the sprinting for you. And, oh, no, that was my fault. Ah, okay. And there's the goal. So we, we still got a long way to go, though. I want to try to get the highest score I can. Ah! Turned right at the last minute. Alright, yeah, come on. Please keep going. Oh, very nice. Hey, what? That was the one for the easy difficulty. I think these are really hard to do, but I love the challenge. These are fantastic. Oh, man. Very, very cool. And there's only a couple things left for us to do here. I think what Keith David wants us to do next is another flashpoint. It's either that or the next tower. I know there's going to be one of each. Yeah, it's a flashpoint. More Zins on patrol. They won't stop until we send them a clear message. Alright, cool. We just completed another challenge. That's a big deal. We want to beat all of the challenges before this is over. And right there. We've still got the same weapons that we've had. I like to start with the abduction gun. Because that's another challenge that we have to complete. Yeah, we only got two of them, really? Alright, well, let's start mowing them down. Yeah, beat it. <laughs> I 
It's one way to get them to stop shooting at you. Just run over them. And is that enough to kill him? Nah, who cares? There we go. Awesome. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, the tower is definitely next. Yeah, it's right in front of us. Got to get up pretty high to do it. Why should you climb this tower? Because it's there. <laughs> yep, absolutely. I made a reference to, I think, the last time, or maybe it was the first time, I was climbing a tower, where I was talking about how much I love platformers, and uh, I brought up the old Crash Bandicoot games. I actually think that was a really good kind of reference in talking about this game, because if, if you've ever played The Wrath of Cortex, the, the best thing about that game is that it's not only just a platformer, like the old Super Mario games, or Ninja Gaiden, which is one of my old favorites, but if you ever played Wrath of Cortex, a lot of those levels are completely different. There's some where you're flying around in the ship, there's some that are just straight platforming, there's some where you're in a hamster ball that's really hard to control. And you have to, like, not fall off the side of these bamboo ramps. And, I mean, there's so many different... There's one where you're in a mech suit. <laughs> and ju just like in this game. All right, yeah, we can miss that one. And I think that was a really good comparison, and I didn't really think about it. Until after that video was already made. Hold on, get up on this wall. Yeah, we want all the clusters. That's another challenge. This tower, it starts getting a little more complicated. Like, there's a platform way over here that's out in the middle of nowhere, and then you have to go all the way back. It's just over there for that one cluster. And you can see, yeah, you have to jump around the walls. You know, it's not as cut and dry as the two that came before this. And actually, we don't need to hit that one. If we do this right, yeah, watch the wall. We can get all the way around, yeah. And we're at the second ramp, which again means we're almost at the top. Whoa! Very cool. Yeah, this next one. <laughs> the first time you get here, you won't know where to go. It's behind. And you can see the top of the tower is right over to the left. Yep, and we're in good shape. So after this, we are pretty much done for Keith, David, and we can get back into the story. We've done every side quest that's available to us right now. Ah, oh, very cool. Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Come on by for a proper congratulation. Absolutely, and you can see how far away that is. Let's, yeah, I don't want to get a UFO. Let's try one of these planes that I picked up, like, right in the beginning. Sure thing. I never did, yeah, I never did use the Snipes 57. I don't know if you've ever seen Passenger 57, but it's kind of the same plane. The airplanes control different, though. Different than the VTOLs, different than cars. You don't, contr you don't accelerate and back up with the left and right triggers. You have to use A to accelerate and X is the brake for the 360 controller. But half the time, when you try to summon these through your phone, whether you're in the air or not, they'll spawn on the ground and you'll just crash right into walls. That's why I don't use them too much. But this last time we were really high in the air and over water. Okay, very cool, yeah. Let's wrap this up. Think that went pretty well, yeah. Let's see, is Keith still in the cockpit? He's been in there every time since we started. Oh, there he is. That's why you're the commander in chief. Shame you'll never get the chance for re-election. We would have had a marvelous second term, Keith. And we finally unlocked the Roddy suit. And 
Uh, really wish we'd uh, been able to do that a couple videos ago. Doesn't really do us a whole lot of good right now. But, you know, rest in peace, Hot Rod. Okay, so we have almost a hundred grand. Dual wheeled SMGs, is that what I just saw? Yes, yes, there it is, finally! It is about time. Oh, awesome. And for bonuses, yeah. Here's our boost. 10%, I was saying that in the last video. I didn't think it was too far off. More XP and more cash. Okay, we've upgraded every power that we've got right now. Maximize blast area. Oh, and I thought I thought we already had maximum speed. But we do now. And glide efficiency. Gliding no longer uses stamina. That was why I didn't want to upgrade the stamina last time. Because we really don't need it anymore. As you can see, all that's left is the next story quest. I'm going to go ahead and end this here. My name is James, and if you got the time, I got the games. Thank you guys so much for watching.